Hey guys, it's Chucky Conroy. Welcome back for more Paper Mario. In the last part, we reached Mount Rugged. In this part, however, we're gonna go ahead and try finding those three letters, of which I see one already. Hopefully, I can find all three of the letters in this part. If I cannot, well then, I need to move faster! Come on, move faster! Also, in this part, we're probably going to run into probably one of my least favorite enemies at this point of the game. Again, you people who have already played this game, you probably already know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. God, I say that a lot. Now, to get this, you are going to need to use Cooper. Oh, Stick it in her Cooper. Ew! I can't believe I just said that. I cannot believe I just said that. Okay. Here are those enemies I was telling about. Look like just regular rocks, don't they? Well, they're not. They're claps. They have defense points. They're really annoying. I believe they're not hurt by fire, which makes them really a pain. You're going to need to use some kind of power attack to be able to hurt them. I recommend uh, Bombette's Bomb. Because they also have spikes on them, so you can't jump on them. So none of those are useful. None of this is going to help us. So let's go ahead and use Bomb. There we go. I believe they only have 2 HP, so they have like no HP, but they have such annoying defense. There you have it. I believe the next letter is this way. Alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and show off the fright jar. Hopefully this will work. If you have a fright jar, I guess there might be good use for this. Ah, of course, it don't work. Um, if you got nothing else, uh, you can always go ahead and use the pow block on them. The pow block will flip them over so you can jump on them if it doesn't kill them, because there are, like, you know... Other enemies like this in the game. Anyway, we're just gonna run from this battle because I don't feel like doing it. In this game, when you run, though, I gotta warn you, you lose a little bit of money. Alright, the next letter is not over this way. Okay, apparently I was wrong. So I did not need to fight that enemy. Anyway, we're just gonna go up here, going up the slope, as usual. Spin dash past this dude. Sweet. I do not feel like fighting the clefts. I'll fight the mounty moles, but not the clefts. Oh, star piece! Basically, just drop down through this hole, get on this beam, and boom, start pieces of yours. Anyway, you know, I've just been watching, like, Nick at Night in between, like, recording these parts, as I usually do. Um, you know, Home Improvement's on right now, and I gotta say, Home Improvement is a show I could never understand why it was so damn popular in the 90s. It just, Tim Allen just, he's not all that funny. The only really good memory I have you know, seeing Tim Allen was, uh, when he did, like, the original The Santa Claus. That was a good movie, like, for the whole family. When it came to, like, watching movies, like, with your whole family, that was a good movie to watch, you know, at Christmas time. It's one of the few, like, really good Christmas movies that I remember as a kid. But, honestly, I just never thought Tim Allen was all that great. It, that's just me, though. I mean, you know, everyone's got their own opinion. I believe there is a block back here that you can hit. Is there? Okay, I'm guessing not. Oh, wait, this is what I was thinking of. There is a hidden passageway right here, and it leads you to your treasure chest. That is what I was thinking of. The damage dodge badge. Basically, if you do an action command um, to defend and everything, you get the damage decreased by another one point. Very useful indeed. We cannot go over there yet where that star piece is, so we're just going to go ahead and try to spin dash past and fail miserably. Run! It sounds kind of weird, though, but I can do, like, this little trick, like, with my index finger and my thumb together where, like, I can press the A button, like, so ultra fast. Like, I've never met anyone who can press it faster than I can. But, um, whenever I do it, my body as a whole vibrates. It sounds really, really weird and almost kind of gross, though, but it's true. My body actually vibrates whenever I press the A button that fast. Because I press it so fast. Oh! That was not smart! Anyway... Run away, because I don't want to fight these damn clefts. Clef, the boy, chin wonder. Why do I keep referencing the Fairly Odd Parents? The Fairly Odd Parents isn't even good anymore. It used to be a really funny show, though, but it just it isn't good anymore. It just went so far downhill. Let's see here, I have one letter. I mean, Fairly Odd Parents used to be really funny, and actually was a pretty good show, though, but it just 
it lost a lot of its luster, like, over the years. It just... The writers have run out of ideas, I just gotta say that much. The writers have just totally run out of ideas, they're having an overflow of new characters. Like, ever since, like, they got, like, the baby in there, like, it just wasn't really as good. And then, like, in addition to that, none of the episodes, like, with Blonda or any of them were really that good. It just, the Fairly Odd Parents, you know, like, back in the day, it was a funny show, though, but, you know, it just, it's gone so far to oh. Where did I get... Oh, yeah, that's right, I keep referencing the Fairly Odd Parents in my videos, that's how I got on the subject. God, I'm not even remembering how I'm getting on subjects, it really shows that, like, I'm just jacked up on caffeine right now, because I want to do this whole chapter in one sitting. Okay, so anyway, for the last letter, you just take that path over this way. You go down here, you grab it, and then you run like hell! There, we have all three letters. We have all three clues. I keep referencing old Nickelodeon shows that I remember from when I was, like, three. Also, I'm on the subject of Nickelodeon, because I can't stop talking about it. I'm really surprised they're bringing back Guts from, like, the 90s. God, I remember watching that when I was, like, five and I loved it. <laughs> Hopefully it won't suck, though, because a lot of the revivals for shows have sucked. Like, the original Rugrats was a good cartoon, and the revival of that was god-awful. I mean, it was, like, the biggest freaking disgrace to a good cartoon in the 90s. Alright, anyway. We're gonna go ahead and give out these letters. Alright, these letters are actually to NPCs, as you can see, a letter to Colorado right there, I believe the first one was to, like, Taste Tea. Um, these are actually letters to real NPCs. And as you can see, this is more cinematic when you give them the last letter, which is kind of weird, like, Mario, like, moves in the camera pants, it's kind of weird. The last letter, you found it! Now I've got all the letters I've lost today. <laughs> okay, I got all the letters I lost today. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. You're a lifesaver. I wish there were some way I could repay you for your help. Hmm... Actually, to be honest, having just letters, less letters on Mount Rugged, I may have sort of dropped them all over the Mushroom Kingdom while I was flying. Wow, you sound like a really responsible young fellow. <laughs> yeah, you know, you're good at finding letters. Do you think you could keep an eye out during your travels? In return, I would offer you whatever help I can. Well, take him! Oh, praise the stars! I, was, I wasn't looking forward to having to find all those, all those letters li li all those letters all by myself, no sir! I'll do my very best to help you. You shall not regret this. God, I hate being on it. I hate having a form of autism, because sometimes I just flat out can't talk. Parker joined your party. Alright. Now, I gotta say it more dramatically. Parker joined your party! Alright. Proceed on to have him carry Mario and fly for a short time. He can carry Mario over short gaps that he could not jump by himself. Jump across by himself, God. While in battle, he can attack with skydive or smash the enemies using his shell shot ability. There. Okay, I actually talked that time. Power carry, very useful, very, very useful part, remember, I have to say that much. I'm going to go ahead and show you his action commands when we get into another battle. His shell shot is an attack that can hurt the clefts. The clefts are much easier to fight now, so that's really going to be helpful to us. Jeez. So, I do recommend totally using power carry, like, from uh, here on out for a little while. Because his shell shot is basically your only real saving grace against the clefts, because he goes into his shell and then he dives at them in the air. His skydive, however, is just like a jump. However, it hits him from a diagonal angle, so I believe it's only if they have spikes at an angle will uh, he get hurt by them. You'll see what enemies ha are like that. I mean, like, the uh, clefts have spikes on the uh, sides and angles on them. Anyway, though, um, actually, I forgot to do something. God, I'm, I'm just all around, just kind of weird right now. Like, I mean, like, I feel like barely conscious right now. You want to go down here, you want to use Power Carry's ability right on the very edge, because he can just barely get you over this gap. And you want to go ahead and talk to this guy, another Bulb Bulb, and you want to get the seed from him. Now, when you get that second seed and everything, that means there's only two more to collect. There's four in this game. You're definitely going to want to collect them as I show you to get them. You really, really want to do that. They are very helpful items. You need them later in the game. Anyway, let's just go ahead and cross over this gap we could not get over before. Thank you, Power Carry. I'm not going to go back and get that star piece. I'm sorry. I might get it on the way back, though. Hey, check it out. An old buzzard. Hey, come here, you old buzzard. Yeah. I'm going to make you flip around. Look at the bird dance. My voice cracked right, really bad right there. Look at the birdie dance. Dance, birdie dance. All right, whatever. Um, I've had enough fun for one day. Hey there. Hold up a second, partner. Just a darn minute, I've seen you somewhere. Where'd he 
pull that out from? Yep, very similar. You look a lot like this fella who Mar you look a lot like this fella Mario who's on Bowser's Wanted poster. Now give, what's your name? Okay, if you say Mario, I'll fight you. If you say Luigi, you don't have to fight him. If you say Princess Peach, you have to fight him because he won't believe that. But just for, you know, comedy factor, we're gonna say we're Princess Peach. What's that, Princess Peach? You taking me for a fool? Princess Peach is captured up there in Bowser's Castle. You reckon I don't know that? You're asking for it, you big fibber. I'm thinking you're Mario. Prepare you for your whooping. God, my voice cracked so much doing that voice, it wasn't even funny. Anyway, this is a mini boss, but on the note of finding this mini boss, we're gonna cut this right here. Because this mini boss takes a little bit of time to kill. So if you like this part, subscribe to us up in the corner, big yellow button, give me a five star views, down below this video, be sure to come over if you like this one. Okay, I will see you guys later. Next part, we'll take down this mini boss.